In a lot of ways, my own relationship to Judaism is rooted in a struggle. I'm the first rabbi at Kol Tzedek that is queer and transgender. We're building a community where queer culture is celebrated and part of synagogue life. It's a place where we are experiencing ourselves as both inheritors of tradition and as innovators of it. My name is Rabbi Ari Lev Fernari. I use pronouns he and him. I have wanted to be a rabbi since I was a young kid. My coming to Kol Tzedek has felt beshert. It's a Hebrew word that kind of means meant to be. One of the ways that we can identify what it is to be a Jew is to be the descendants of Yisrael, the story of Jacob wrestling with an angel, and he asks to be blessed, and the angel renames him Yisrael, which we can translate it as the one who struggled with God. One of my first struggles was when I was in the process of coming out as trans, specifically about 10 or 15 years ago. I had this ongoing question of what it meant to be made in the image of the divine. And this idea that if perhaps I was already made in the image of the divine, why did I want to change myself? Why did I want to change my name and my pronouns and my body? I really wrestled with this. I talked to lots of rabbis and teachers, and finally one teacher said, you know, the way in which we are made in the image of the divine has to do with how we are in the world. And I was able to kind of reconcile and really find deep inner resolution that I could be trans and whole and in relationship with God and Judaism, that those things didn't have to be at odds with each other. God says to Moses at the burning bush, Ehiyeh, asher ehiyeh, I will be what I will be. See part of my role is transmitting some of that permission to be authentically ourselves and you know saying to queer and trans people like come out it's what God wants from you what we are called to be in this world is ourselves and if that is queer and or trans be that person that's how we access holiness Young people are craving that. We are so hungry to have a real authentic connection. And in many ways, that's the godliness of community is that we are connected to people and things much larger than ourselves in this mysterious world. The future of Judaism is bound up with bringing historically marginal voices to the center of the table. the greatest gift religion can bring is its resilience of having lived a long time and having survived. How do we transform and how do we stay relevant? So by nature, the Judaism of the future is one that is informed so deeply by the communities that have observed it in the past, and that kind of continuity in itself is precious. Yeah.